Hello, this is Frosty Snow here, and going to be doing an AP Master Yi tutorial. Now, for runes on AP Master Yi, I take Ability Power Quints, Glyphs, and Seals. Just flat out Ability Power, so I get a good punch, and then some Magic Pen Marks. On Masteries, for Master Yi, I put one here, because I use Ghost and Ignite, Cooldown Reduction, Ability Power, Magic Pen, Straight Up Damage, More Ability Power, Spell Sword, really nice, Arc Mage, actually gonna lose two there, and then I'm going to get 2% movement speed, some Mana Regen, and do that. Have 2109. Now, those are runes and masteries for AP Master Yi. I'm just playing a normal for this tutorial. So, except. My blade is yours. Just gonna go ahead and lock, see if I can't take it from him. Hopefully he'll change his pick. And some near five disconnected. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'll go ahead and start going over some things about AP Master E. Um his Q, Alpha Strike, deals damage to four people. Now one second, I am AP. Now there a way to bring up his abilities no well so his passive is every seventh strike uh, deals two strikes instead of just one and I will be using that to do pressure in my lane I'll, I'll show you guys how to use that effectively <coughs> now I'm uh this Q alpha strike deals damage to four approx uh, four enemies uh, pretty much in a line, some form of pattern, and uh, it's got a really high AP ratio, which is why I'm doing AP. His W, Meditate, will give him armor and will give him armor and magic resistance, and heals him for over one ratio. So it's like. If I have 100 ability power, it's going to be healing me for 200 plus whatever it was originally. And I'll be able to heal myself up instantly, pretty much. His E passively increases attack damage. And if you activate it, it doubles. And his ultimate gives them increased movement speed. And if you kill someone, <coughs> all your cooldowns refresh instantly. And if, um, if, um, uh, you, yeah, if you kill someone, all your cooldowns refresh. That means if you kill someone with your alpha strike, you could kill another person with your alpha strike, and then you'll just spam your alpha strike and get a ton of kills. Let's see, also, um, if you get an assist, it puts your cooldowns to half. That gets kind of annoying if you don't kill someone with the alpha. Someone gets the hit and you have to wait two seconds on your next alpha. 
Um, crap, they're all pretty tanky. This is gonna get kinda hard for me. But no matter. Me versus Suede. It's, uh, not an easy, easy fight by any means, since every time an alpha, all he does is ultimate and gains all of his health back. So my starting items are going to be Fairy Charm, Crystalline Flask, one health pot, and one mana pot. I do this so even though Swain is able to pressure me, I'm going to be able to lift through it because of all the pots I have in my meta tape. And, I'll, and I build the Fairy Charm into a chalice. So that works as well. is taking a very long time to load. We may not even have a jungler. So Though that's not the end of the world, because AP Master Yi, if that is a hyper carry, which pretty much means he will literally 1v5 and come up on top. <clears throat> if that. Hey look, it's the guy who wanted to go middle last time. Uh, so... In the, in the last game, or last queue, I tried to get at the guy who was like, I'm going mid. So, I'm gonna kick his ass. Why is my ping so high? That's not a very good sign. Alright, so, uh, all items, mana regen. Wow, they changed the format on me. Consumables, health pot, mana pot, and... Yeah, I don't know why they changed the order that... It was a little different, but whatever. <clears throat> so, you always start with the Alpha Strike. Um, just so you could do somewhat, some pressure. Oh, uh, and if you laugh, I believe it's laugh constantly, it also makes it look like you're jerking off. Just to taunt the enemy. I believe it's laugh. Let's see, is it the same? No, maybe dance? Yeah, it's dance. So you repeatedly dance. Good way to make your allies go, what the fuck. <clears throat> so, AP Master Yi. I'm going to go through all the tips and cool tricks I have learned over my mini games of playing him. Uh, 
and we wait. So yeah, just start off last hitting. No reason to push against the Swain. Alright, so when there's three, if you alpha strike, it will always hit him. Period. If there's three and he is nearby, 100% chance of hitting him. It is nice. I recommend you guys using that trick all the time. It is a miracle worker. The, if there's more than three, you just don't know where he'll jump. And that's not cool. Now, there's a glitch. Sometimes Alpha Strike will not display a cooldown. In this scenario, just give it a good amount of time because you don't want to go for an Alpha Strike and not be able to Alpha Strike. I've done that on turret dives and died because of it. Now, I haven't been able to use my passive like I wanted to to uh, show you guys the cool trick I learned with it. So... Oh, I guess I could just tell you it. See, once again, hit him. Now, if once you get on the seventh strike, if you alpha strike and then hit him, you'll get like hundred or so extra damage just from doing that, and that's really nice because all the damage matters. And you do that a couple times, then it starts that up. As you can see, I didn't have the third strike ready to go, so. Twenty-one to eight farm. And I'm probably gonna die. So, what happened there was, I used Meditate to, um, take on the hit that he was originally going to give me, since it gives me a uh, really high armor and magic resistance, his attack did like nothing to me. Why is this item not why Oh, it's rebound. God damn it. I usually have that item bound on G. I was wondering why it did not do anything for me. So, another neat thing is that you can trick out your opponents by making them think you're going to fully meditate, and you can just come right out of that alpha strike and go in for the kill, and they won't know what happened. They'll be like, what the fuck, did not anticipate Master Yi going out of his heal. Most people don't. So, if you do it in a taunting sort of way, like right behind the minions he'll come up to hit you with a CC or anything and then you just alpha strike right into him and kill him. It's really nice. Uh, if you want to push lanes just constantly alpha strike you get a good amount of CS with it. So there's three here and I can alpha strike to him. Get some damage. You can get some damage on me, but I was planning to go back anyway. Actually, I'm going to go bottom the gate. The cool thing with Master... Oh, shit. So, my gank failed because I was being yanked. That's a second, so... I ran into a jungler. That's never nice. So, my people are feeding tanks. I'm the only one with kills, and they have five deaths. <sighs> Probably not going to end too well, since I can't help them, because I keep... I have Shaco. I ran into Shaco. I was going to go gank. Nocturne should be doing something about it, but I think he was DC'd for God knows how long. So I'm just trying to... So, three minions. And you don't have to be close to him. Just, you have to have a minion line that's close to him. So, charging up my strike now since I'm pretty sure he's going to charge me. Oh, 
Also, when you uh, go in with three minions, auto hit, guaranteed. Now, when you go in to hit the guy, press your E, doubles your attack damage. Or well, passive attack damage you gained from it. So I'm just going to pop. I hit him. You're not always guaranteed to hit him, but when you do, you feel like a boss. Now I'm going in for the kill. See, that's the thing with best DE. I'm moving at 608 movement speed. There's not much they're going to be able to do to retaliate. Now, because all my cooldowns are refreshed, I'm going to try to gank bottom. It may or may not work out. I don't know if the Moo is going to be stupid and stay, or if he will not be stupid. Ah, the Ignite killed him. I was really hoping it wouldn't, because I popped my ultimate. I'll take some creep. Go ahead and push this lane. Um, let's see. I need to go ahead and get a Magi's. Now, for items, let's start thinking items. On Master Yi, a Magi's can be really good if you know how to engage properly. If you don't know how to engage, then you're going to lose your stacks really fast. I'm going to get a Magi's this game because I'm going to try and carry this game as hard as I can. And I need a Magi's to do that. So, my entire team is pretty much doing bad. Not to worry, though. I am Master Yi, and I will try my best. Probably a lost cause in this game. I'm hoping you guys notice, or have time to learn all the tricks I'm going to want to teach you. Um, hope I'm covering everything. So, Master Yi's items, you always build them really squishy, because you want to jump in towards the end of the fight, and just do a ton of damage, because if you're not doing that damage, you're not worth it. You have to be doing damage with E. You just have to. It's fact. Like, if you're not, then... So, I do a really high amount of damage, especially with my ultimate on, because it allows me to swing a ton of times. So, bottom is feeding really hard, and I know this. I want to help them more than I am, but I can't really get myself in a good position to do that. So, he's going to die, so I'll go ahead and take the kill. Get some more Magi stacks. Always nice. Um, wish my allies were closer. I'd fight this. So I'm going to use Meditate to mitigate all the damage he's really doing to me while Nocturne sits there and does pretty much nothing it feels like. I'm going to go ahead and back up out of mana. I just can't do anything without mana. So that could have been bad for me if I didn't use my Meditate to increase my armor and magic resistance by 100. He probably would have went ahead and killed me. So don't forget to use your Meditate in times of near death. It sometimes can't save you. Not all the time. I mean, sometimes they're just going to fuck you up. And there's nothing you can do about it. But occasionally, it will save you. So he could have went ahead and killed uh, Caitlyn. But he's so afraid of me right now that he can't. I'm going to go ahead and run down. No, I'm not. They're not even close to dead. 
Going to have a, going to try and push this land as much as possible. I really got to keep dodging that stuff or I'm going to die pretty fast. So, that's why I like AP Master E, full health yet again. Uh, I need to run down for this one. Someone other than me has to run in. APs do not run in. Damn, I was not quick enough on my spells. I shouldn't have died on that. I should have used Meditate. I fucked up. It's okay, though. We did get the kill. I'm going to go ahead and grab my Chalice. I'm having some mana issues. Now I build the Chalice into the Unholy Grail, so when I kill people, I get my mana back, and he can keep spamming my spells. It's all about spamming spells on Master Yi. That's really all you have to do. Run it at a right time, and then Q, 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 Q. And like guaranteed enemies won't know what to do. Eh, let's try and get some pulls out. Not really succeeding. I love spamming abilities, especially strong ones. Now, I didn't get a triple kill. Who, who got the triple? Uh, my Nocturne did. But, that's okay. I got a lot of assist in that, and my Magi stacks are thriving. To say the least. So... Your Q does instant burst that a lot of people aren't ready to fight. They're not ready to prepare for that kind of damage. And that's how you're going to get most of your kills, through shock. I mean, even in the upper levels, I do this in my ranked games. And I'm I'm up my highest rated gold, but right now I'll pick up like 1450. I'll do it in my ranked games, and I'm going like 817. It works. For quite a while, I'm sure the pros know what kind of damage APE can do and are like, Psh, this is a joke. But if they don't know Master Yi too well, they're going to just get raped by him. See, I jumped all the way to Swain over there. You don't, you just need a minion line. You just need a line to your target, and he'll keep jumping, and he always reverts back to the original target. Now I'm going to run this way. Now, you don't always have to run to your tower when you're backing up. Just run away from the enemy. I, I can't... I would like to go in and engage this, but I can't. Like, he went in way too far and got himself sandwiched. He, he really, he scared the enemy away, and I couldn't get to him. So, don't go in unless you know you're going to get a kill like that, because that just will take everyone off. I wasn't even part of an assist, really? No, I wasn't an assist. Need to back up, that's hurting. Take some blows. And we'll back up. I'm getting quite a few stacks on my Magi's now at 16, which is why I like Magi's. I'm 718. I'm doing pretty well. I haven't ganked as much as I wanted to, and there, there's a lot I wanted to do this game that I ha just haven't been able to. I'm going to go ahead and grab Death Cap, though. <sighs> Increases my ability power by a substantial amount. Not 418. Not even, it just hit 17 minutes in the game.
So I would say I'm pretty fed. And creep wise, I'm doing okay. Not the greatest. I've done better, but kill wise, I'm doing pretty good. For sure. 718 is good at any given time, and how the fuck did he miss that? So, if you're going to play skill shot champions, learn skill shots. Otherwise, stick with AP Master Yi. It's all target abilities. You can't miss. Literally. It's impossible. Alright, so we should engage this. He's going to run away. Caitlyn's not going to come up. And he's going to probably get away, unless Blitz gets a pull right here. Wow, that was in a pull in darkness. I'm impressed. A boomer came in. Don't know why. And Nocturne's dead. Or Pantheon is definitely dead. He ran down, probably towards the turret. Uh, that's obviously him. Some help wrapping your present? Nope. Okay. Just ask him. I am running away because I'm I need to go ahead and do a meditate before I run back in. Quick little meditate. And oh, I was hoping that would hit him. But that's okay. So, Master Yi, really good at cleanup. As you could tell, I just, I got a, an unofficial triple right there. Because of my awesome abilities of Alpha. Go Alpha Strike, man. Would you too strong, right? Um, I need to get to metal. I'm going to go ahead and swing around if I can catch him off guard. Because Master Yi is all about catching people off guard. That's just what he does. Like now. He was caught off guard. I don't even know what he was doing. Got myself triple. So yeah, just catch people off guard and you're pretty much good. Always click your ultimate before your alpha into a fight if you're, pl if you're planning your alpha to kill them. Because when you get a kill and your ultimate's on, all your cooldowns do refresh. And you, you need that to keep spamming your alpha, for sure. Go ahead and alpha there. Do a substantial amount of damage. Shaco probably doesn't realize, but if Blitz pulled him, he would die instantly. If Blitz pulled a Mumu, a Mumu would die. Maybe. No, not really. I lied. I'm sorry, guys. I lied to you. Mumu's a little, yep, has a little more resistances than I thought it did. See, once again, you don't have to run to the tower, just away from the enemy. I'm going for Mumu because I need to get a kill. And spam your abilities. There you go. GG, right? The Master is surprised. That is Master Yi. I've got 4k to spend. It's not like I'm spending all the money I've made so far. I'm about to. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. So, um, yeah, when you have a Master Yi and you get fed, the game's never over. you got to remember that, guys. Believe in Master Yi. I'll go ahead and grab a Void Staff so I do even more damage. So I'm sitting at 629 AP, and it's only 22 minutes in the game. Practically built. I should probably end this before they actually get items. And can fight. Actually, in all honesty, I will probably do well the entire game, no matter how long it uh, progresses. 
So, once again, don't have to run to the tower, and I blew my meditate. I fucked up that one. I accidentally clicked meditate and did not finish it off. What is Aurelia doing? She kind of went AFK there for a second. Nocturne should see Pantheon. Wax him. Good job, Pantheon. You are outnumbered and outgunned. You should run Pantheon. I know Shaco is tempting. Oh, wow, you're actually going to get him. I'm quite impressed. Thank you. I thought Shaco would have jumped right out. I was wrong. Sixteen to eleven, not bad. Though that last death of mine was my own fault. Should have left meditate on. Their CC was blown. When their CC is blown and you meditate, you're pretty much guaranteed to live as AP Master Yi. Not too many people can out damage his heal. You do heal for like thirty-two hundred. I mean, you're you're worse than a moon though. Don't kill him, don't kill him. Damn, they backed up too much. If he pulled Swade, Caitlyn hit Swade, I could probably go ahead and kill them all. Probably. Not Pantheon, though. Like, God damn, not, not Pantheon. I cannot jump in. Oh, as Master Yi, do not jump in. Until you know you can get a kill, because it's just pointless otherwise. Like, right now, I can't help him. I still can't help him. Still cannot help him. Can help now. Master Yi. Gonna meditate. Run around. And I got a movement. So, yeah, you don't always have to go the original path because there was a box there would have kept me from getting him. Yeah, he's already used this Deceived as well. I know he's over here. And he's dead. You gotta be really careful when fighting a Yi, or you're just, you just die. Because they move so fast, you're not gonna get away. And then they heal for ridiculous amounts. Um, I really wish my people would help me win the... But they don't fight as much as I want them to. If Caitlyn takes this, I'm going to be so mad. Okay, she did it. Um, all in all, it's not a bad game. I'd be frustrated if it was ranked because of how much I'm trying to get this team to win. I'm trying pretty hard. Get a few hits on this tower. And Caitlyn's dead. Oh, I so dodged that. So, gotta use Meditate. I hate how my allies aren't gathering up. We, we could easily team fight. Yeah, I'm going to tell them. We need to group up and team fight. You guys split push too much. It's true, though. Uh, we clearly have the lead. and We need to take advantage of it. And I'm 70 gold away from Lich Bane. Uh, 
Um, let's crank. Nocturne actually was the one I pulled there. Probably could have scared them off. Probably still can. I don't know why he jumped back in. They're all there. And Caitlyn didn't mess up. So I'm waiting for my Lich Band. It's going to help me a lot. There we go. And they're not dead yet. Damn, really, uh, you're scaring them away. As a master of the Wuju, I need time. I need pray. So my team seriously should group up soon. I what? I, I'm I'm a, I'm at a loss of words right now. Like nothing's warded in this vicinity, and she's gonna go without a team. No, 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 no. <laughs> I guess they're alone, but if they were, this would be a really good bait on their part. Did you just pull him away from me? Alright, well, whatever. I'm glad that wasn't me. I was I was honestly scared. They were tanks. It's, I mean, it wasn't like Shaco and Swain that were catching off guard. And why is Nocturne split pushing? Not. Not covered. Stop split pushing. Now, like Blitz could go for a pull, even though Nox not here and Shaka just wasted his ultimate. He's clearly the one in the back. I hate when my cooldowns are only done by half. Because I can't go in right now. My ult is... I need to wait. Two. One. Never run towards the enemy, folks. You don't have to. That's when you're AP, Master Yi. And then I'll go full health and start running back in. Dodge the grab. I'm getting out of here. Oh, that was very nice, Caitlin. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my consumables. That's uh, that, that, and that. And upgrading my boots. Go ahead and just give me flat out 15. That's nice. And 794 ability power without Baron. I'm kind of fed. I'm going to go ahead and kill Swain. Maybe. Shit, nope. And I gotcha. 
So, yeah, I deal shit tons of damage. That's just how I roll. And, yeah, just build pretty much straight ability power. He's obviously running for his base. Ah, that kind of hurt, but I'll heal it back up in a second. Use five Lich Fane charges to take out the turret instantly. And then take out the base. Say GG. And that is the tutorial for AP Master Yi. Obviously, as you can see, a hyper carry who will carry you out of elo hell if you play him properly. This is Frosty Snow, and I will see you guys later.